everybody welcome back to my channel in today's video i am going to take you to our grocery haul we have been doing online shopping for years now and it works so well for us and it also saves us a lot of time too we live close to a supermarket chain called new world so we use their click and collect option and i love that the pickup location is right outside so all i have to do is just pack up and pick up our groceries we are a family of four and i love sticking to our food budget by sticking to a budget that means i'm not buying unnecessary things i don't fall for temptation and the most important is that at the end of every week i don't have food waste because i just buy the right amount so here i am just sort of pulling out all of the groceries they load it up into paper bags and one of the bags actually had been really filled up and so in the end it rips as i take it out so i was trying to carefully you know take uh, the bags out of the locker and load it up into the car without losing any of the produce or the meat or the dairy on the way to the car that we've picked up our online shopping i'm actually not um, headed back home i've driven out to the next suburb that's got another supermarket because this morning i got a phone call from our supermarket that does the online shop saying that a few things were out of stock and so i decided that instead of you know putting off the shopping for another time i might might as well you know pick up the uh, groceries and our shopping and then just drive out to the other supermarket and grab the rest of the stuff that we need at the moment in new zealand um omicron is really ripping through the country we are having over like um 22 000 cases per day and so because of that there's a lot of people uh you know isolating or sick at home and so that's affecting you know the grocery stores and all of the delivery of the food and other products that we regularly need so a lot of the supermarkets are out of stock um, of certain products that we need so I thought this week I would just go to another supermarket and get the stuff that we're missing because it is kids snacks and as you know our kids will just rip through the snacks right just over the weekend so I just want to make sure I've got enough snacks to get us through the coming week or even the week after because I don't like to constantly keep popping out to the supermarket to grab stuff so let's go do that I might probably take you along so you can see the inside of the supermarket too let's go all right we made it inside the supermarket so let's grab some of the stuff as I mentioned a few moments ago the food shortage is real there were a few empty shelves like the ones I'm showing here so right now we really need to be you know smart when it comes to shopping and also plan ahead I stopped at the pasta area just to grab some bow tie pasta so just comparing the brands before I made my decision any Biscoff fans out there, our family is a huge fan, highly recommended if you see it at the supermarket. So while I was at the supermarket, we decided to grab some extra snacks for the kids because we thought we'll keep them at home to do some online learning for a few days given the cases were rising in their school. Also featured here is the most delicious, well I think it's the most delicious, uh, hot cross buns. I grabbed it for a little treat. Now that we are home, I'm going to lay out all of the products that we've just bought on this table and then let's do our grocery haul together, all right? Let me know in the comments below if you see a similar brand or product that you use in your home or even in your country too. Or if you have something to recommend for me or my kids to try, let me know in the comments section because I'm always open for food or snack recommendations or you know household product recommendations so let me know if I need to buy something this week before I forget I just want to welcome anyone watching my video for the first time if you enjoy such content make sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on the notifications too and as I always say please do give this video a like
All right, let's start off with the most important section, the kids' snack section. So right up in the front, I've got some strawberry wafers, the Biscoff cookies. I've got some wave chips and some cookies right next to it. I like getting nuts for the kids, so cashews is their favorite. For the lunchbox, I grabbed that. The mini Oreos, these are individually wrapped, and I like having these for the lunchbox. Instead of having like, you know, this whole packet of like these custard cream cookies, the, ki the kids will just demolish it all together. So um, also these rice clouds, if you can get a hold of these, they are amazing. Another individually wrapped uh, packet of uh, chocolate chip mini cookies. They taste great and a big bag of chips. Also some juice box. I just, you know, got a few of these just because we are staying at home for online learning. Fruit strings because our daughter asked for it as a little treat and also some cassava chips if you haven't eaten it's quite yummy and some individually wrapped mini pringle chips uh, they these are just the perfect snack snack pack size so i got that and also this one i found right next to the pringles version was uh, the supermarket version of pringles so we've not tried it yet so Belvita, I think this is sold worldwide. So just a breakfast option to have handy. Also a couple of cereal options just to top off in the pantry. I like to have long life milk for emergencies. I also picked up some flavored milk because the kids will be home. So just a little treat. Oat milk, we use this for um, cereal. I use it for hot chocolates. It's just a great alternative to regular cow's milk. Uh, but I do also get cow's milk, as you can see. I get a full fat and a light. Uh, Yakult is again sold worldwide, and we buy this as a probiotic drink. Uh, our daughter really uh, loved it before, but I think she's, she's slowly getting off it at the moment. Some yogurt pouches or suckies for our son's lunchbox and then some regular uh, plain yogurt for us as well. Full cream for a pasta dish and a smoothie option for our daughter. Next up, we've got some bread for some toast and sandwiches. I've got some burger buns because I'm making chicken burgers for dinner one night. Right next to that, I've got a can of tuna that I'm gonna make a tuna pasta bake with. I also bought some pasta sauce. I actually got the jar first and then I needed just a little bit more for a few of the pasta dishes that I'm making. So I just got a jar and a can. I also grabbed the shepherd's pie mix for a recipe that I'm making for our freezer meal. And then in the back is a wide variety of pasta because I am making a truckload of freezer meals. One of the meals that I'm making this week is a creamy chicken mushroom pasta dish. So I'm gonna chop up the chicken breast, add in the mushrooms, cook it up with some herbs, finish it off with some cream, and then toss through the bow tie pasta. So that's one dish. The next one is I'm gonna make a pasta bake with the mince and also the pasta sauce right there. The third one is a shepherd's pie that I'm gonna cook with some beef mince, top it off with potato and cheese, and then I am gonna freeze it so that we as a family can use it for a busy weeknight or if there's an emergency. Now, this is the packet of chicken burgers that I'm using. I usually like to make my own chicken burgers, but I wanted to give myself a break. So I'm just gonna use a store-bought version and it'll just be fine. Next, we've got all of the fruit and veggies. Apologies that it all comes in plastic packets, but that's how our online shopping comes. So I've got onions, I've got potatoes, tomatoes, oranges, a truckload of oranges actually, parsley, the mushrooms, apples, bananas, romaine lettuce, and also some pineapples. So I'm gonna be using it all up right away in different recipes. Popsicle minis and juicies are a great thing to have because they really help with hydrating our kids or even the adults in your home when you're unwell. So highly recommend having it in the freezer. I also topped up our foil and cling wrap supply because I've been making a ton of frozen meals. Some few other things that I picked up were some paper towels, tissue box, uh, rubbish bags, body wash, so just regular household supplies. And then in the end is some packets of frozen veggies. Another great thing to have in your freezer are frozen veggies because you can quickly whip up meals. Here's what I'm gonna do with mine. The chunky mixed veggies is for a vegetarian pasta bake. The mixed veggies is going with some chicken into a chicken pie. The garden peas is for rice dishes and the broccoli and cauliflower medley I'm gonna use to make the tuna pasta bake. So there you have it. That's pretty much all of what we got for this week that's gonna be eaten. I think I missed out one thing and that is my little treat which is 
the special delicious fixed peanut butter hot cross buns. I'm gonna go toast them and enjoy. And that brings us to the end of this video. After this grocery haul video, I ended up eating that hot cross bun first and then I started to cook up some freezer meals and I also recorded all of them. So I'm thinking about publishing that one next. Let me know if you want to see it. Alright guys, I'll see you all next week with a brand new video. Bye bye!